Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. Today we continue with a series of videos on R commands. These R commands are, in my view, the most important ones when it comes to genomic analysis. The center of this video is here in line 5, a variation of a remove command which actually clears the whole workspace. I use this line in all of my scripts and I find it very useful and also I will demonstrate to you in this video why is it useful in my view. So it's not extremely necessary but it's nice to check the help files for these commands. So if you are here uh, on the command itself and press F1, the help file comes up. So here you can see that this is basically the variation or the shortcut for the remove command which removes certain objects from the environment. And if you scroll to the very bottom of this, then here is the most interesting lines of them all, at least for this help file, which says, remove almost everything in the working environment. You will get no warning, so don't do this unless you are really sure. And here is the line that I use in all of my scripts, despite the warning which is uh, shown here. Before I get to my particular example, let me demonstrate to you how the line works by default. So we run this dummy script here and you see that there is a bunch of, uh, well, variables in the environment. And just by running this single line, everything vanishes. So the environment is empty. And now to my example. So I use this line at the beginning of each script because I want exactly this to happen. So the environment is clear all the time when I start to run the script. This is because of a type of an errors that can occur during the development of the script, which are quite hard to track down, especially if the script stretches for hundreds of lines, which sometimes can happen with the large analysis. So let me demonstrate. We comment out this line here so it doesn't uh, remove any, everything for us. And then we run the rest of the script. So we have our two variables here and we have our final result. But then we decide to change this uh, small equation here and we want to add not the second number but the third number uh, to, to the final result. So we change this. But because things happen and, uh, well, mistakes happen uh, all the time, we make a typo because R is case sensitive. So this uh, variable doesn't exist in our environment. So there will be an error here. So technically the final result should not appear at all. But when we run it again, although there is an error message here, we still get the final result as before. Again, this is a very short script. So, well, this here is quite obvious, but imagine script that is, let's say 50 or 100 lines long. And uh, this small error message is buried somewhere in the middle. And this is quite a typical occurrence when you change something in the script and you keep getting the same result, although you expect a different one. So this type of error might be causing the problem. But again, it's quite hard to track down because you have a final result and you have a final figure and you are not ending up with a huge error message at the end. Another typical example is when you work on a script full day perhaps, and then you close down R and then you return to it next day and you run exactly the same script, but it doesn't work anymore. So it was working yesterday, but it's not working today. And then you are scratching your head what happened. Again, a similar error could be uh, the problem. And you can avoid all this just by including this line here. So it wipes the entire workspace and the entire environment at each run. So when we run this again, we have suddenly more error messages and more importantly, the final result does not appear. That's because the one of the crucial numbers is not defined uh, correctly. Previously, everything was running because the old result or the old number was still in the working environment, but now it's not because we wipe the environment all the time. 
And then we are forced to look for our error. And finally, when we find it, we rerun the whole thing again. And then we are getting the new result, which is now the expected one. So to sum up, clearing the workspace at the beginning of each run, especially when you are developing some kind of a script or analysis. So this I find extremely useful. Thank you very much for your time for this video and check out also the other videos on the most important R commands for genomic analysis.